Hi, this is Chris Reddick with Chris Reddick Financial Planning. In this blog post, I talk about steps to maximize your retirement benefits from the military and retire early. Okay, so these are, this is written specifically for folks that are um, in the military and then they want to know how to maximize their benefits and retire early. So retire early could mean many, to, different things to different people. So the optimal would be doing the 20 years and getting the pension. So it could be 20 years and then retire, but it really depends on your individual circumstances. Okay, so one way is know your eligibility, right? Understand the, uh, the systems that you face in the military, like the high 36, the redux, um, the blended uh, retirement system, right? The new blended retirement system. Understand these and try to work within the existing system, try to maximize what you have. Okay, and we'll talk about uh, what are the different options. You have to look at your vesting option, period. So typically it's 20 years to get the military pension, which is great lifetime income. Uh, look into uh, research early retirement programs like the temporary early retirement authority okay so other other options that may come along make sure you're fully engaged whenever there's discussions on those um, optimize your savings and investments so really really important so make sure you maximize as much as you can your contribution to the thrift savings plan which is basically the 401k type of plan for the federal government. So make sure you maximize that. So you're under 50 in 2023, you can put in $22,500. If you're over 50, there's a catch up. This is really, really important because there's a match on your contributions and it grows tax free. So you can do a Roth TSP where it's uh, after tax money or a pre-tax TSP or a combination. Um, save an additional retirement accounts. Uh, what about a Roth IRA? Okay, so Roth IRA may be good as well. So you can save that in addition to the TSP. Look into diversifying your investments, right? So don't, don't have all your eggs in one basket. So talk to a financial planner, look at your risk tolerance, your goals, and then figure out how your investments uh, will get you to those goals. Um, another thing is look at uh, uh, tax uh, tax uh, optimization strategies. So are you going to do Roth conversions when you retire? So convert the, uh, pre-tax to after-tax in a lower tax bracket. Are you going to do tax loss harvesting when you have losses against gains in a taxable account? So how does all that fit together? And then minimize your debt and control your expenses. This is a really, really big thing is that you can save a lot, but, uh, but if you spend, that's, that's actually more important. So your cash flow, look at your budget, reduce any high interest debt like credit cards, personal loans. So try to pay off all your debts except a mortgage, right? So you can obviously pay that off sooner, but that's more of a longer term. Uh, live below your means, right? So if you get a lot more money, um, getting promotions, you want to live, live below your means, right? Make, make sure you save at least 20% is recommended for goals such as retirement. Um, and then make sure you have adequate insurance coverage. So like look at disability insurance, term insurance, and then so forth. Um, so the great thing with uh, being a veteran, you typically have TRICARE options, right? So you can have that healthcare benefit where um, many other folks don't get that, that don't serve in the military. Um, so it can be a great benefit if you want to retire early before Medicare at 65. And the last thing, think about getting uh, professional guidance on how to put all this together. It could be just a one-off uh, financial plan or it could be a long-term engagement. If I can be of service, reach out to me on the contact page below. I mean, you can schedule a free initial consultation. Have a great day.